guys, how's it going? So today I am seven weeks pregnant. This week started out for me not bad. Um, I felt pretty good the uh, very beginning of this week. And then about two days ago, um, things got really bad and I felt really bad. I was really sick and I was really uh, dizzy and I just, uh, oh my gosh, I was exhausted, it was awful. Then again, I am not sleeping well at all. Um, I struggle to fall asleep every night and I finally fall asleep around 2, 2.30 in the morning and then I'm back up around 5.36 in the morning and then I'm up, down, up, down usually every hour on the hour until about 9.30ish, 9, 9.30ish. So I'm not sleeping very well at all and the nightmares are wow. So that's probably why I was so exhausted a couple of days ago. It only lasted for two days. I feel good today. Um, I didn't have like the best sleep last night, but I slept a little better than I did the past two previous nights. Um, so I feel, I feel good today. Um, but it was just those two days where I was exhausted. I was so tired and I just laid on the couch and I felt like I couldn't do much and it was like my brain was going in slow motion. I was getting these thoughts that, hey, you need to do dishes and hey, you need to do laundry, but it took so long for my body to get the message to move to go do that stuff. It was weird. My cravings for onions has finally gone away. Uh, my husband has really burnt me out on them. I think that might be what has caused my onion craving to wane a little bit. He's put like onions in everything for me, trying to, you know, just give me the cravings that I'm craving. He's just trying to be supportive and yeah, a nice guy. And he put onions on my hot dogs, on my burgers, uh, he put them like everywhere. He made homemade onion rings, like he put them everywhere. And now I'm not really in the mood so much for onion. But that's just been like the past day or two. Uh, I was craving them. And on top of craving onions, this is really gross, I know, I'm so sorry. On top of craving onions, I was also craving milk. And if that's not disgusting, <laughs> I don't know what is. That's a really gross combination. I don't, I've never like craved foods that when combined, they're really gross. I've never done that before. So I was like, this is nasty. <laughs> I don't want onions and milk, that's gross. I also got really bloated this week. Um, I'll do a belly shot here in a little bit, but I got really bloated there for a few days and I felt huge. I felt so much further along than what I actually was. And I woke up this morning and I'm not as bloated. I feel a little bit better. I'm still getting heartburn, but it's not been as bad. Um, it comes and it goes. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. However, the nausea has been on top notch this week. It's been insane. I am sick all day long. I am sick when I wake up. I'm sick when I go to bed. I'm sick if I eat. I'm sick if I don't eat. It doesn't matter what I do. Uh, it's not morning sickness for me. It's all day sickness. It's all the time. Today, right now, as we speak, I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm not quite as sick. But yesterday and the day before, I was just, I was going to run to the bathroom. It was terrible. I know I've already talked about exhaustion and um, how my sleep habits have been. Um, as far as the actual like pregnancy exhaustion that all the women talk about and all of that, I'm not really feeling that so much still. As long as I sleep good that night, I'm fine. Like like right now, I slept pretty good last night, so I feel great. I have energy. I'm not wanting to take a nap in the middle of the day. I feel pretty good. Um, if I could just get this nausea to go away, I'd feel great. <laughs> I think nausea is just one pregnancy symptom that I'm never going to escape from. I had it with the girls, I'm having it with this pregnancy, it's just never going to go away. <laughs> also something that I haven't been um, remembering to tell you guys in the past couple of weeks, um, I'm getting these really sharp like knife pains like way back here, back here, like where your kidneys are supposed to be. It's not all the time, it's not every day, but every now and then I get these like really, they're really sharp and they, it really hurts. It's like someone's knifing me in my kidney. I'm probably going to talk to my OB about it whenever I have my appointment, but that's another symptom, if that even is a symptom, that I'm going through right now and it really hurts. Speaking of knifing pain, uh, something else that I've been dealing with this week that is really weird um, TMI, sorry guys, I keep it real. Uh, my nipples, I've been getting this really weird, sharp, stabbing pain. It, not all the time, not every day, but occasionally I get these really sharp, stabbing pains. And I'm like, ow! <laughs> it does not feel good. It really, like, hurts. Like, someone's hurting me right there. And, um, 
it doesn't go away. It doesn't like, you know, come and then it goes. Like it, it comes and then it stays for a little while and then I have to deal with it for a little while and then it goes. It's not comfortable, you guys. I can't wait for this part to go away. So my first prenatal appointment is in four days and I'm so excited. It'll be the first time we get to see baby. It'll be the first general appointment in general. Um, and I'm just really excited. I love ultrasounds. It's like the best part of pregnancy next to feeling the baby move, which I can't wait for. It's like my favorite symptom. I love feeling like little baby kicks and flutters. I just love that bond between us that only I can feel it move and it's just between me and the baby and um, I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to feel that. It's not going to be for a while. I usually don't start feeling baby movements until I'm about somewhere in the 15 week range. Then I start feeling like little flutters, you know. Um, I don't start feeling full on movement until like 20, 21 weeks. That's a, somewhere in there is when I start to feel like movement, movement. Um, and then it, even then, it doesn't get like really big until I'm like 24 weeks. At 23, 24, or something like that. I think Kinley started moving really big at 22 weeks and some days. So I, I may be wrong. I'll link the video down below. So something interesting that happened this week. Um, we haven't really told Carly that I'm pregnant because she's two and she doesn't really understand um, and we just that we just haven't really gotten around to it yet because I'm not showing and you know there's not really anything to show her so we were kind of waiting until I started actually showing showing in order to you know tell her mommy's gonna have another baby but this week there must be like child like intuition or something because several times this week she's come up to me and she's patted my belly like this and she said baby and I'm like yeah, there's a baby in there. Good job. How did you know that? We haven't told you this yet. But it was still really cute seeing her do that. I mean, it was still cute. I thought it was funny. Other news that is happening right now. Um, Dev and I are about to move, so I probably will vlog about us moving. Um, we just need to get into a different apartment. This one is not worth the outrageous rent that it's priced at. I'm just no. Uh, so we're about to move and get to a new place. Um, we're also looking to buy a house in the somewhat near future. We're in the process of trying to get into the process of it. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I don't want to go like into full out detail right now because I don't know all the full out details right now and I don't want to tell you guys until I know all the details myself. But um, we're like trying to get into the process of it so I'm really excited because it'd be nice to get out of apartments and into a house into our own space where we can, uh, I can have a garden, which I've always wanted to have. If you know me, you know that I've always wanted a vegetable garden. Um, I can't wait to have one. And uh, Devin and I would really like to have pets. Like I would really like to have a cat. He would really like to have a dog. It would just be nice to have our own house where it's our rules and it's our place and it's for our family, someplace for our kids to grow. I just can't wait to get into our own place. But for now, we're going to move into an apartment temporarily until we can get into a house. That probably won't be for like a year maybe. I don't know, six months? I, I have no idea when it's going to be. I just know that we're trying to get into the process of doing that. I'm going to go do a belly shot now and show you guys what my belly looks like now. So this is where we are at seven weeks exactly. And a few days ago, I was a lot bigger. Like my stomach was really out there. But uh, I... Gained some weight. I now weigh 152. I think last week I told you all I weighed 150. I weigh 152 now. Um, so I'm really gaining weight fast with this baby. It's freaking me out. I didn't start gaining with the girls until I was about 10 weeks. So I'm like really scared. <laughs> but this is where we are at seven weeks right now. I feel so much further along than I actually am. But I know baby is tiny. I can't wait to see him on Wednesday. Or her. Or her. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in four days, if not sooner, uh, whenever I, we, do, we go to our first prenatal appointment. Thank you all so much. Bye.